International University, graduate only research collaborative university, first and only actually mixed gender university in, in Saudi Arabia. KAUST was created by a decree of the late King Abdullah to be what we call the House of Wisdom. And that is basically to attract researchers and scientists from all around the world to conduct research that is important for the kingdom. We have, for example, 102 nationalities on campus, world-renowned scientists. The president of Caltech, which is one of the top universities in the world in science and technology, was actually, until just recently, the president of KAUST. What's unique about KAUST is that it is a city, not just a university. We have basically 7,000 people who work at KAUST and live at KAUST, but during the day it becomes 17,000. So you're managing a city, and I manage the security of that city. A lot of time, hackers and attackers use humans to get in. I invented the concept of the human firewall. To be able to constantly train that human, who's basically the first target in any attack. And I created what we call a human firewall risk score for each and every individual. If you want to be on my network, you need to abide by the rules, and that privilege is taken away from you if you abuse it. So this allows me to focus on the humans that really need training. Also, it gives me a way to measure awareness. We're associated with Aramco. Aramco is one of the largest oil companies in the world, and it is considered a natural infrastructure company in Saudi Arabia. And Aramco built Cal. When Aramco was hit in 2012 by the Shamoon virus, which wiped out most of its IT infrastructure, it actually brought it back to the previous century. At that time, Aramco realized that we may be also a target because we're associated with them. And they came and basically gave us some budget to fortify our defenses. So you need, in that case, some solid solution. And I consider security as a risk management function. So basically, everything starts from risk. So I always assess my risk first, figure out what controls do I need to mitigate that risk. When the answer is in technology, I look at the research data analyst firms out there like the Gartners, the Foresters, the IDCs, and we've evaluated, uh, I wouldn't be exaggerating if I say about 10 to 12 vendors. We've done POCs for about six vendors before we brought in CrowdStrike. Because CrowdStrike is mainly cloud-based, it was also a challenge. We were one of the early adopters in the region, and it was a bold move on our end to go with a cloud-based approach. Because most organizations in the Middle East have not adopted or moved to the cloud. What we were able to achieve using CrowdStrike on the endpoint and the detections that we get are amazing. We do red team exercises every year where we hire outside consultants. And since I implemented uh, CrowdStrike every time, CrowdStrike catches them. Everything that was visible may not have been visible to other tools, CrowdStrike was able to catch. So that's why I, when I said it catches anything and everything, um, I really meant it. All the advantages of the cloud are built into this product in CrowdStrike, uh, where you, know, you have elasticity, um, you have flexibility, you have ease of migration, or new features and new technologies come about, you get them right away, you don't really need to wait to deploy them. All of that pain will go away when you adopt a cloud solution like CrowdStrike. I found that CrowdStrike is, I don't want to say silver bullet, but it was just very close to that.